Welcome to Eco Ask Why, a podcast that dives into industrial manufacturing topics and spotlights the heroes that keep America running. I'm your host, Chris Granger, and on this podcast, we do not cover the latest features and benefits on products that come to market. Instead, we focus on advice and insight from the top minds of industry because people and ideas will be how America remains number one in manufacturing in the world. So welcome to Eco SY. This is going to be a special bonus episode. We're going to recap season one. And to join me, we've got the man behind the curtain, Mr. Adam Sheets. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? It's it's interesting to be on the mic today. Yeah, normally you're you're leveling everybody out, making everybody sound great, but you get to be a part of this today. This is very exciting, man. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Very cool. So, man, let's 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 start off and just talk about the evolution of of Eco Ask Why. We've we've learned a lot together working through this. Has been a interesting journey to say the least it's been fun actually i'll ask the question to you chris because really this started with your idea i remember you and i went back and forth on it for a while just hashing it out but how about you tell us where that idea kind of came from well i mean it, it it started i just really started listening to a lot of podcasts and listening to uh, influencers out there i was doing a lot of following like gary v and people like that just learning you try trying to figure out how to help people and that's my, the whole idea behind the podcast for me is, is that servant leadership and serving others. Uh, so that was really it. And then just had the opportunity to present that idea. It just kind of all came together. I was reading our company mission statement and people and idea over products. I was like, that's really cool. We just, we need to take that and give that some legs. It's been fun to to live and breathe that here on the podcast. Exactly. You know, and so that just, that was it. And then from there, just... The initial pitch, which was pretty nerve wracking, but uh, got through the initial pitch and everybody really liked the idea and got the support. And it's just really been a fun experience. Yeah. So let's let's kind of go into like a little bit more behind the scenes of what what has this process been? You know, what did it start with and how have you seen it evolve? And just that involvement of the physical studio, but yeah. but also just you as a host. Yeah, I mean, the, the physical studio, we originally thought that we were going to do these episodes at the branches or working, you know, maybe at customer sites. And then we had this thing called COVID happen and we shifted everything. But luckily, we had enough insight and, and wisdom to to make this a mobile setup. So load up everything in the truck and built the home studio that we've been recording in for the last several months now and that's really worked out it's been a blessing to do that and just learning the process of how to work with people you know the, all the guests have been phenomenal yeah but making it like fun for them was something that was really important to me and you too and so we've done some things to really kind of to, to round that out so that people when they come in you know we podcast all the time but this may be their only opportunity so there's some nerves so anything we can do to to ease that and to make it a smooth process is, was really big. And then for me, just learning a lot from you, man, how to better. I don't know about that. Yeah, well, how to better ask questions, <laughs> uh, how to stop going on and on. I mean, there's just some things just from personal development as a host. You got to learn as with any skill, you know, if, if you want to get better at it, you got to study. Oh, yeah. And uh, so I really take uh, all the feedback, but your feedback has been the most, you you know, holding up notes or ask this while we're talking and things like that. It's really helpful. It has been a lot of fun yeah. from my side. To, you know, there's been a couple of times where we've had some guests just make us roll on the floor laughing and you and I are sitting there cracking up laughing, trying to hold it together. And Yeah, that's the fun stuff, man. Yeah. I mean, and, a lot and, of people don't see that element, but it's it's really fun. And it's weird for me to be on the mic, but, you know, I'm an avid podcast listener myself. Right. You know, some of the feedback has just been interesting it's it's easy to give feedback but when it's your turn to speak on the mic it's a little bit it's a little bit different it's different man i mean what about you i mean you what have you learned through this process what's what's been some of the changes or things that that maybe came out of left field that you weren't expecting you know you we ask this in in pretty much every guest that comes on we ask you know if there is a something to debunk you know the stereotype of an engineer that has been eye opening because uh, just the mindset of these people to be at the top of their game, the heroes, the subject matter experts that we've brought on, they all have just this growth mindset and this uh, drive underneath them, the purpose. And I love how we, we push this podcast to go there each time. 
it's just been so wonderful to see that. And I always thought engineers were like that stapler guy from the office space, you know, right. really weird. You didn't really want to talk to him, or if you did, you wanted to not look them directly in the eye. But it has been the exact opposite, and it's been mind blowing to see yeah. just the the diversity, the fun color of each person, and just how they, uh, you know, live their lives. It's, yeah. it's just been fun. It has been, man, and and how much uh, humility. People don't like to be called heroes, but we yeah. we get them over that pretty quick, you know. Because and just I think the impact, you know, when I look through some of the the comments and the the feedback that's come back after episodes and what it means for some of our guests to join us, that that just to me that just takes it to a whole new level. And just when I sit back and I think through some of the guests and we're all the guests, they're all talented in so many different ways and. And their backgrounds and their drive. And it's just like, wow, you know, there's just some really awesome people out there, you know? Yeah, we've had some really cool moments where, you know, hearing about someone's purpose has opened our eyes to how impactful this podcast and the community that we're trying to build, how impactful it is. Because, I mean, what drives someone and for them to share that so freely with us, it's, I mean, we've sat back and realized, oh my gosh, we're tapping into something that, we had it was humbling a humbling moment for us no doubt no doubt i mean that that red thread as you mentioned the passion the drive that's there in every guest man i, I really that that just jumps just jumps out every time we turn the mic on yeah it really does and i'm so excited for where this podcast is going with all these guests and and the viewership is continuing to grow we've been surprised pleasantly surprised with uh, just the first month, month and a half that this thing has been for us. It's been a, a fun and, and wild ride. And so looking forward a little bit, season two, drop in right now, along with this bonus episode, you know, so I know we got some fun stuff in the hopper. I'll let you take it away. Like, so what are, what are some fun things that you're looking forward yeah. to in season two? Well, with season two, there's so much new things that are, that we're coming out with that we've tried and we've been recording. So we're going to come out with some mini series that I think people are going to really enjoy. So we're going to drop those maybe at a week at a time, three or four or five days at a time. The first one, well, one of them will be uh, around cybersecurity. Then we have some power study type um, episodes that we recorded. But one that I'm pretty pumped up about, and I know you, you know why, is uh, women in engineering. And as a father of two daughters, eight, nine years old, these are the episodes I want to you know, plug in the car and let them listen to and, and hear these wonderful women talk about the things they've accomplished and how they got there and their, their personal journeys and things they may have to overcome to bring that inspiration. And, and for the women in engineering series that, that we have, we have some just guests that will are phenomenal, blow your mind. And we also have just really rounded it out from an experience level standpoint to where we even have a guest who just getting into engineering and, and just starting and, and hearing her journey. I'm excited about this stuff, Adam. Yeah, I, I am too. And just where this can go. You know, we, our first thought of this whole podcast was let, let's just get some ideas out there and, and also let's talk about people. And uh, we've really found this, this thread for us to push and, and that's to showcase these heroes. And uh, it's just been so fun to see this evolve and, and, yeah, I've I've also heard of these few interviews we've done so far, and I'm super pumped for it because they've been thoroughly impressive. No doubt, no doubt. They're just they're so much fun. And and again, I, were, I was on a phone call yesterday talking with with a potential guest actually about the podcast and explaining it to him, you know, subject matter expert. He's like, well, what's your audience? Who are you trying to reach? So I was walking with him through that. We're just trying to inspire people in industry. Period. He's like, well, what about women? He's like, you know, there's not many women that I, that I work with, and in, in he's in the pharmaceutical industry. And I said, well, it's very interesting you said that. And, and that led down a conversation about what we're planning and what we're working on. And through that conversation, he pulled in a, a colleague into the call, and she is actually lined up to be one of our guests, and we're going to be recording and doing all that with her. So it's just uh, that was an interesting tie that he happened to bring up. I hadn't mentioned it to him. So we're looking for those types of ideas, you know, for future growth, where the podcast can go. This is definitely not self-serving to Eco or to me or to you. 
we want to bring information and a value to our listeners that will help inspire them and maybe maybe challenge them some in their personal journey. You know, you can do anything, uh, but understanding the why. And that's why I love what we really get to with each one of our guests is that that deep understanding of purpose and, and what drives them. And, and hopefully that comes out in every episode. Definitely trying to learn, get better at that. So far, so good, man. That's awesome. Man. I just love how we always wrap up with the why because it has so many different meanings. You know, why do you do this or why do you do that from a from a tactical standpoint? And that's where our idea episodes come in. But then those heroes come down into why, what is your purpose? Why do you go to work? Like what drives you in the morning? And it's been really fun to hear that. And I, I love that we stay true to that purpose and in every episode that we do. I think we should also probably ask the listeners who are listening to this for some feedback. What questions would you guys like us to ask our guests? You know, we're always looking to improve. No doubt. No what, are, doubt. what are some things that you guys are looking for that we can help draw that out and provide to you as the audience? to, you know, showcase, uh, in these heroes, what would, what are you looking for? Absolutely. And, and if you're listening to this and you, you have an interesting story and you have some value you'd like to share, you, that you feel like this would be a great platform, reach out to us for you sure. Know, leave those comments. You can, I think in, in our show notes, we have both Adam and, and my LinkedIn profiles. You can direct message us there. Uh, there's ways to get in touch with us. Call, call Eco and ask to speak to you know the, the guys that do the podcast. We'll, they'll, yep. they'll put you through to us because we're just always looking for the, the, that next, the next guest, the next value, and you never know that next conversation could be what inspires that person to, to come to this industry. So true. That's awesome. I'm, I'm super pumped. You know, I think this has been a really fun banter and a little, a little something new. No know? doubt, no doubt. Uh, it's been fun. Fun stuff, man, and and more fun to come, brother. That's right. Season two is on its way, starting with episode 22. Right, (laughs) right. There you go. Awesome. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad-free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also, leave comments, feedback, and any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit EcoSY.com. That's E-E-C-O-A-S-K-S-W-H-Y.com.